Hello friends, this is Seth of the Sickness LPs, and today I'm going to be bringing you some more Darksiders Blind. In the previous episode, some guy breathed in our face. That was literally, that was literally the culminating point of the episode. No joke, because, well, it let us see into the spirit world. By the way, I may have been, uh, having difficulty figuring out how to see in the spirit world. That is because I never realized that we are actually already seeing into the spirit world. Yes, I know. Pretty simple as a conclusion, judging by the fact that there's a red tint to everything, and everything's so ghastly now. The big question is, who are we going to be looking for in this here spirit world? Or at least in this here glimpse we got to catch of the spirit world because our eyes were contaminated with someone's putrid foul breath. Who will ever know? Well, I know who we will definitely need to know, and that is me, because, well, if I want to make any progress at all, I'm going to have to figure this out. So, I guess their servants are not hiding in this place. Ooh, there are big thorns coming out of the trees there. I guess the trees had to develop some kind of natural defense mechanism against zombies and everything. I suppose that would make a very clean... Oh, what the heck? You still exist in the spirit world? Well, I guess because you're like a demon and everything and you're kind of spiritual and all that. Oh, what's this? Oh, that, that bodes well for what we have to do. I think that's just the exit to this place, though, or how we got in where... Moreover, that is blocked off because, well, apparently if you see into the spirit world, you can only see so far. And if you try to leave that said area, instead of just losing vision of the spirit world, you will apparently be blocked by the spirits. Because they're like, you signed a spiritual contract with us! I don't know what I'm supposed to make those spirits sound like there, but all I know is that I'm having a lot of difficulty finding these special people. I guess these, maybe these challenges are actually what needs to be done to take out the spirits. That would make sense, actually, because I don't believe the challenge was there last time I went. So let's just go ahead and take out all of these spiritual challenges. Maybe challenging, but I don't know. I think it's all, it's all for spiritual enlightenment, right? No? That's not what we're doing here? I did think this seemed a bit too devilish for anything of the sort. Regardless, this is going to be the second fiendish eye that we will have to take out. We'll have to kill 50 enemies before war's infected health depletes. Bonus souls will be rewarded for any remaining health. Aw, oh, crap. So he's got... No! Alright, apparently we're going to have a little bit of a tough time here because we are poisoned. And we got a lot of enemies coming down to take advantage of that fact. Alright, oh. At least it, like, full healed me or whatever. Or maybe it didn't. Oh, for a second I thought that was some weirdo frickin' Regirock thing coming out of the ground about to go and destroy me. Jeez, this actually isn't so bad of a time limit. I mean, oh, jeez. I just say that, and then War gets a sudden pain in his sides. A real pain in his rear, actually. I mean, imagine it was a pain in the rear, because that sounds like something that would afflict him in such a troubled time. I'm gonna go ahead and kill... What the heck is this? I don't know. This is... I feel like there's more putrid breath going on around here, because if you look at it, it's like green mist and everything. Oh, come on. These guys are no match for me. Although this seems to be a waste of time. Oh, crap, jeez. My health is depleting pretty fast. I'm gonna wanna... I'll, I have a chest there, and I do believe that actually gives me back health. So, it's gonna be pretty okay. I'm gonna wait for that, though. Oh, crap. Maybe I shouldn't be waiting. Ow, that hurts. Alright, I'm gonna get over that chest before things go completely awry. Give me... Your healthy soul's chest. Why a treasure chest has a soul to begin with when it is an inanimate object, I do not know. Perhaps inanimate objects do have souls at the end of the day. You know what doesn't have a soul? Well, apparently, actually, these zombie things do have souls. They have more than one soul, actually. So they're... Surprisingly, zombies are pretty well off in the spirituality of things. And I'm getting more health there. That's perfectly fine. Probably shouldn't have grabbed that. Probably should have waited till I'm almost done so I could reap the full benefits of getting extra souls for the health I still have. Which is kind of like a soul conversion. This is like a soul conversion at the end of the day, because we're just going to be going, hey, Mr. Soul Banker guy. Holy crap! These are not soul bankers. I was going to ask the soul banker to convert all my green souls into souls that I can actually use to buy things, because because this is pioneer time trading. Literally, it's just, I got vegetables. I want to sell them for, for cool stuff. It would be really cool if they would let me do this. They don't seem like they want to let me do any such thing, though. They are going to be trying to completely, Tom, completely. Yes, it's all Tom's fault. Tom initiated them to their task at hand here, which is to help destroy, help the poison destroy me. I don't think they're going to be destroying me in and of themselves, 
But they're definitely going to try to make this so. I don't think they have a very good... I, they're not going to have some very good luck against that, though. Because I think that I'm a pretty strong... I'm a pretty strong guy. I can support this giant arse sword with the inclusion of a giant arse freaking gauntlet that I have on my hands at all times. And this armor looks pretty heavy, not gonna lie. Just all in all, I think I'm a pretty strong guy. Stronger than freaking demon bankers. Is that what we decided these guys were? I think they were demon bankers. Ha! Got rid of them. Now you will not... Oh, what the... What the heck is this? Holy crap! This is not... I did not want any of this. this is, okay. You know I said I was gonna save this? Nuh-uh. Not anymore. Oh, crap. With infected health, too. Dude, I'm running so low. This is... Well. Alright, friends. So it appears that the task at hand is marginally more difficult than I had once perceived it to be. Regardless, we are going to have to brave through it. I mean, there's not much we can do. But pray that we can... I find that ironic with all these religious connotations in this game that I'm saying pray. Regardless... We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it, friends. Don't worry. I believe in myself. Oh, shit! Every time I see that guy, my belief in myself just goes down the drain. Oh! Don't do anything to me. This guy looks like he's about to destroy us. He is going to make our lives a miserable. You know what? I think you can just lead... You can just egg him on and kill all of his... Okay, it's probably... No, I think it's the best course of action. Completely dodge all of his abilities while destroying... His henchman is probably easily the best course of action to take at this point. I mean, he's killing his own guys, actually. I can actually probably... We, we, could have a, we could have an understanding here. You and me, big guy. Hey, come on, big guy. Look at, look at these guys. Don't they look more scrumptious? I don't know. Do zombies like eating zombies? Are zombies cannibals? Good question. We shall see. Hopefully they are, because that'll make my job a lot easier. Because I do believe I just gotta wait for you to pummel your own goons to death. That is my plan, and I'm sticking to it. Regardless, I need I need health right now. My plan is to get healthy before I partake in any such <laughs> in any such uh, influential decisions. You know, influencing this guy to kill his own teammates seems seems a little harsh. But regardless, we're almost done. All I need to do is make sure that I can survive that guy's. Oh, you know what? That's easy. All right. So you do not need to destroy this guy. Ha ha! Go back to the pits of hell from whence you came, yes. We got rid of the big guy without even trying. I believe that is the point you're supposed to make there. Either that or killing him gives you like 10 and then you're done now as soon as you do. Can we do it again? Yeah, apparently my suffering's entertaining to this guy. This is why I don't like having you around. Ever, ever think of that? Maybe that's why people don't like you around. Uh, this weird guy coming out of my arm or my sword. I guess he's more part of the sword. I don't even why I got know why I got to carry this guy around. Can we find like an exorcist or something? Exercise my sword. <laughs> Exercise my sword. That sounds so weird to say. All right. Well, I got all of those treasure chests, so we're going to be able to go ahead and this guy's eye in me. Close thine eye to the illicit activity that is going to be happening here, such as the stealing of souls. That sounds pretty illicit, I don't know. If you if you thought I if you thought I was just making stuff up, that you can't you can't say that doesn't sound illegal in some states. Maybe some states, you know. I would suppose particularly the most religious states. Anywho, now that we've got that, we've got plenty of souls from that and we've destroyed one of the other gates. What do these two other gates entail? Hopefully that was the hardest one, because I don't even want to know what the other ones will entail if that one gave me such a run for my money. A run is a run is the right word for it. I was running away pretty fast when I saw that big guy coming at me. Regardless, alright. Well, we got, like, two more gates. So, this one... There's basically a giant pit of thorny trees separate tree roots more aptly. Look at how small these trees are, and look at how big their roots are. This does not seem natural. I'm gonna blame this evil gate of whatever for the unnaturalistic feel that has been going on around here. Ooh, there are two, two wall things. I'm gonna call them wall things. Seems that there's like these insignias in the wall that seem to be glowing, except I do believe there was only one in the previous. Hopefully that is not an indicator of difficulty, because like I said, I would not be a happy camper. Or 
Happy War for that matter. What the heck? The gory end. Smaller or weaker enemies can be instantly killed at any time. Larger creatures must be stunned before they can be slain. Use E to instantly kill a smaller stunned creature. Kill 30 enemies using only War's instant kill attack during the time limit. Bonus souls. Okay. We're back to the time limits. That's good stuff. At least I'm not poisoned. They're not bringing in the bug types in this one. Oh, maybe they are. This looks like... This looks like some kind of demonic freaking Venomoth. All right. Time to destroy the demonic Venomoths. I should probably... Oh, this probably counts as a small enemy, doesn't it? Yeah, I should have probably guessed that. Well, that was a waste of time, but that's okay. I can literally just juggle my way across these guys. Yeah, I don't even have to leave the ground. Hey, come back. Oh, you broke my chain. What is this? I guess I guess there's no reason for a demonic uh, Venomoth to actually want to die, but regardless. Ah, oh, so many Pokemon references. The X and Y thing. I haven't even played X and Y, and I'm still making a ton of Pokemon references. That's pretty great. Not gonna lie. Ah, oh, I guess it's just it's just the um, it's just influence. It's peer pressure. All of you guys playing all that Pokemon. Makes you feel I gotta deliver on your Pokemon jokes. Okay, so I'm gonna have to stun these guys. It doesn't tell you. It doesn't tell you when they're ready to be slain either. So I guess you just have to look at them. Hope that you can figure out once they are stunned. Oh, okay, yeah, it actually does. Okay, don't have to worry about that then. I thought it would be more difficult to tell. I guess these skeletons, these Stalfos here, are not going to be such jerks as to make it impossible for me to actually properly snipe them with my E move. I'm calling it the E move, even though it's supposed to be called like an action move or whatever. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what we call it, so long as it kills some skeletons. Yeah. -ha! Skeleton's getting pretty annoying. Oh, come on, demonic venom. Okay, he wants he wants some attention too. Apparently, they're weird. Th these are weird kind of attention whores. They pretty, I don't know, pretty masochistic attention whores, if you ask me. But regardless, we're not gonna take that away from them. I mean, if they want to get exploded, why are they bringing out these enemies suddenly? I feel like these enemies are easier to kill than the skeletons. Like, no joke. I guess there are larger numbers of them, it would seem. Again, they're just waiting by. I guess there's not much they can do, because maybe they suck at jumping or something. So they can't just, like, walk up to me and heal me while I'm in the air. I don't think I was that high in the air, though. Like, come on, guys. Be, be a pal. Maybe maybe they just don't have a lot of brotherly love for their flying evil Venonats. Venonats, yes, because Venonats fly. I was thinking Venomoth, but whatever. Doesn't even matter. Even technically, Venomoths don't even fly, because, well, they're not flying type. Ugh! Gonna destroy this guy. Yeah, oh, come on! Come on! Come on! Not this again. Uh. Okay, I'm just gonna have to hope these guys appear in enough of a frequency to allow me. Oh, they gave me health too. That's very nice of you. It's very nice of you, birdie guy. I, I, I'll, I'll stop calling you one of the worst Pokemon ever. I mean, what? Sorry to any Venomoth fans. Holy crap! That was an instant kill! Wow! Alright. Ah, uh, yes. I got. I had the feeling this guy was coming back. After a few unfruitful tries, I've decided that we are probably going to have to take some time to focus this guy. Because as soon as you turn your back to him, he is just going to use his one-shot move and totally disintegrate you right then and there. So you just want to make sure you're jumping... Jump in to make sure that he can't kill you. These guys are going to be a nuisance as well, apparently. So we're going to have to take care of this guy. Whoa! In the back. Hopefully that is his weak point. Of sorts. Oh, crap. That's the one hit move. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, phew. It actually wasn't, which was good for me. Because if it was... Oh, there you go! In the arm. Yeah. What now? What can you do? He's going to take a beating. That is what I wanted, because once he's out of the way, I get the feeling it's going to get a lot easier. All right, friends. Are you ready? We're going back to killing these these uh, very unholy bankers right here. Because, well, I bet they weren't banking on me killing their boss right there. Yeah. Oh, what? There's another... What? Okay, so never mind. You're not supposed to be killing that thing. Oh, crap. The one-hit kill move. Out again. Ugh. Oh. So brutal. Oh, I'm getting close though. I mean, I still have these. Make sure. Okay, I can spam these. Just gotta make sure that he doesn't make use of that last move. Oh, there we go. What the? 
I could have sworn I missed one of them. Apparently, I just punched his face in by accident. I was like, whoosh. I can imagine there was some Matrix shit that went on there, but of course, it didn't do the Matrix slow mo, so I had no way of seeing it. Come on. Now Ugh. that was entertaining. No! Can We're not do doing it again. again! Jeez. This guy just wants to see me lose. Oh, uh, whatever. I suppose that we should we should assume that. He does look like a rather sinister being indeed. Regardless, I do believe that that is going to be yet another one down. Another one bites the dust, or at least that's kind of like the first big one that bites the dust. But whatever. I'm pretty sure there were many small ones that bought the, bought the dust. That's apparently, that's apparently the past tense to biting. Yeah, totally. It's not a different verb or anything. Alright, so I suppose I will see you guys in the next episode where we continue on and I guess head on over to that last sinister place. Across this well of spikes. Well, you can't see the spikes, but you know, there are spikes sticking out of the tree roots that are actually like 50 times bigger than the actual trunks of the tree. So, yeah. Completely logical, completely sane things going on, and I'm sure I'll be completely sane after the hardships that are about to ensue. See you guys next time!